So today we are going to create a newly objects, newly created objects around the chairs, the table, the other chair, and the same table, and we're going to position it around our area. We still have yet to make our palm trees and the couch and the food rest, but with what we have, we can start arranging the furniture around. So we have. Uh, let me show you. There is um, one, two, three, four, five, six sets of chairs and table arranged in a, like a three and a three uh, area. So that's a, that's twelve chairs of one kind, and there's a, another twelve chairs of the other one, and there's six tables. So let's begin with uh, just uh, setting them up in the corner first, and then we can just take them, duplicate them and mess around that, that way. So first it's this chair and let's uh, from top view let's begin moving it into the area where it, it will be and let me see if there is a palm tree in the corner. Nope. So this can be all the way in the corner. So that's one. Let's take our table making sure we grab everything. So once you select, if you grouped it, once you select a piece of your uh, table, press up on the keyboard and it selects the whole group. And let's choose this chair and position it a little bit off to the side here. So now let's uh, duplicate our tables so we can position, all, position them around. So we have Shift D and move this table over here. And compared to this window, it's a little bit off to the side. And this one is closer to the windows. Alright, so jumping back, we have and let's begin position it. So I'm going to start duplicating this chair around so we have four of them. Two, three, four. Let's start rotating. Move this guy a little bit closer. Now let's do the same thing to this. Let's rotate it a bit. I'm making sure again, ha, huh, see, making sure we have selected the group. And shift D. Rotate it. Rotate this guy around here, position him here, and duplicate it and move it around here. So let's see what that looks like. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Beginning to look good. So let's get rid of the wireframe and let's go back to the reference. I'm going to move this chair here. Okay, so now I'm going to duplicate all of them and move them down. And the simplest, easiest way to do that is select everything and then press up on the keyboard. So we selected the entire groups of everything. Go back to the top view, press Control D. and we run into a little problem because of each individual group not being able to so the simplest way to do that is you select everything together you group those together so control G and name it uh, group table set 1 
center the pivot on that group and now I can move it around how I want to and position them here let me find a better reference where that those and it's in front of this window and the other ones are in the front of the third window so I'm going to position them here and then duplicate it again and position them here I'm not going to worry about making it uh, if you want to spend the time in making sure that all the chairs and uh, not exactly the same way as the previous one but I'm not going to worry about that just yet and let's do the same thing to this I am going to select the chairs then the table press up on the keyboard select everything then control G put them in a separate group table set two uh, it's actually I guess I already have a two, uh, couple of table sets so now we center the pivot on that and we press control D to select it move it down see where it's at it's in front of the other window and then press control D again and put it in front of this window back to the front view and it's be beginning to take shape and we're bringing our environment to life we're gonna quickly create the carpet and this takes pretty much no time at all so we're just gonna create a cube scale it down you can get it close enough to the floor raise it up go to the top move it over here let's go to the vertex nope not on this guy alright vertex thank you scale it out and now just take this and scale it all the way across get it close enough to here but not all the way to the uh, to the wall and let's do the same thing on this side let's check from the top uh, it's looking good now I want to make sure that it's not too too high up. Yeah, let's bring the carpet a bit down. Tiny bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert edge right here. Select the face this face, I'm going to extrude this face all the way across and that's it, that's as far as the carpet will go and next we will build the couch the couch leg rests and put in the palm trees